Hey everybody, FireDog529 again. I uh, thought I'd share a little of, I guess you could call it my insight, or um, at least my opinion, uh, regarding <coughs> SHTF. Um, I think it means something different to everybody. Um, you know, it could be a hurricane, job loss, economic collapse, you know, whatever. Um, I think partially what what would be a um, an, an SHTF for myself is um, the government um, not necessarily taking away our guns but the um, the battle for that is uh, is ongoing there's always some lobbyists trying to push for uh, tighter gun control um, or harsher gun control laws um, I don't think necessarily in my lifetime that the government will uh, will come in and say you no longer have the right to own a firearm. I do, however, think that in my lifetime the government will uh, put such a tax on um, either firearms or bullets themselves that uh, the regular every, every, everyday average person like myself just flat won't be able to afford the bullets. You know, we might have 60 guns in the gun safe, but what good does it do you if you don't have a bullet to shoot out of it? Um, so, what I did to prepare for that, or to safeguard against that, I guess, is um, I'm, I started getting into a little bit of reloading. Um, I purchased this little Lee turret press. Um, right now it's set up to do... 223 Remington. Um, yeah, I've got the the scales and the spray, the tumbler. Um, there's a couple of caliber changes up there, and um, every time I go to the store, uh, the Gander Mountain in my area usually has something on clearance for reloading, and I'll buy it, whether it be primers or bullets or uh, some powders. Um, you know, whatever the case may be, but um, I, I I do think that the government at some point will try to tax us to the point to where we just can't afford the ammunition anymore. So uh, so I started reloading a little while back, and um, it's kind of addictive when you when you start. It's um, I don't know if you'd call it therapeutic or or what, but um, it's. I don't know, there's just something calming about sitting here and cranking the lever up and down and cranking out ammunition. <clears throat> but, uh, anyway, yeah, the fire dog is more than just medical. I just, that that's my area of expertise, so that's what I'll try to share the most with you all about. But, uh, I try to dabble in just about everything. So, uh, I'm, I'm fa still fairly new to reloading. If you've got any specific questions about it, I'll do my best to answer. I may direct you to somebody else who uh, is going to be far better versed in it than I am. But um, as far as this um, this little Lee turret press reloader, I, I can't say enough good things about it. For the price, I think you can get one for about 150 bucks, set up for one caliber, and. Um, uh, the first hundred rounds I put through it, I think I had uh, maybe five, five or six that messed up, and that was I chalked that up to my inexperience. I don't think it had anything to do with the the quality of the press or anything else. But if uh, if you haven't safeguarded yourself against uh, the inflated prices of guns and ammunition, or what could be a crippling tax on guns and ammunition uh, probably a good idea to do that while while you can get in on it um, I think those things of powder ran me about twenty dollars or less a piece um, these these rounds the TNT spears uh, I got those off of uh, Midway USA have a lot of good uh, prices and a lot of good gear there. 
Uh, I'm not endorsing any one particular thing, but uh, you you just need, in my opinion, you need to do something. If you're if you're a gun guy or um, ammunition and, and firearms is a part of your uh, the protection that you have in your preps, then you you should probably even if it's just a little single stage reload and press, at least you've got a way to reload what you've what you've shot. You know, in the event that it's ammunition isn't available, you know, not not talking about the the tax. You know, if if all the stores are closed and you just can't get it, then uh, once you shoot it, it's gone. So, uh, just my two cents for what it's worth. I think uh, maybe a good idea for for everybody who relies heavily on firearms to do some sort of reloading. Um, I don't do this as my primary means of ammunition. Uh, as long as they still put it on the shelf at a decent price, I'll still buy it. Because, um, to be perfectly honest, the 223 that I shoot, I typically get it at such a low price that it would cost me the same to reload it as it does to buy it. But um, that really wasn't the point in me setting all this up. You know, it was to have a means of reloading, have a means of getting ammunition when ammunition isn't available. So, uh, anyway, like I said, this is just my two cents for whatever it's worth to anybody. So, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or PM me. I'll uh, do my best to answer it. So, anyway, I hope you all have a good one. I'll be uh, posting some more medical videos here in the near future. Hopefully it will be, be a little more interesting than uh, sitting on the couch looking at books that I have. Uh, I'll try to do something interesting and something that will keep your attention anyway. So y'all have a good one.